Who are you? I'm no one. about what happened. It's true. All of it. The dark side. A Jedi. It's calling to you. Just let it in. up you guys this is one classic gamer here and I'm bringing you a special movie review here this is going to be for Star Wars the force awakens yes that's right this movie has been the most hyped movie uh, of the year and you know we've all been waiting for this movie we have all been waiting for this movie I just got done with a three o'clock showing of it I went to go see it with my mom, my dad, and my dad's friend, and I am ready to talk about this shit. So, with complete respect to people who haven't seen this movie, I'm not going to talk about any spoilers, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to talk about spoilers. I'm going to give my overall opinion of the movie and what I think about the movie. Now, the story of Star Wars The Force Awakens, without giving much away... Uh, I'm just going to talk about what's in the trailers, basically. The story of this movie is uh, Daisy Ridley plays this character named Rey, who is this scavenger down on the planet Jakku, and what ends up happening is there's this other character, uh, I forgot the guy's name, the actual actor's name, but he plays this black stormtrooper dude, and he realizes that he doesn't want to be a stormtrooper because you know he doesn't like to be on the bad side, so he decides to flee... And what happens is he crash lands on the planet Jakku, and eventually he ends up meeting up with Daisy Ridley's character. He ends up meeting with Rey, and they go on an adventure that eventually leads them to Han Solo and all the characters that we have come to know and love from the original Star Wars trilogy. Now, without right off the bat, I have to say that this is the best Star Wars movie that we have gotten since... Return of the Jedi. Now, I wasn't alive when Return of the Jedi came out, but, you know, we all know the prequels fucking sucked. They were terrible. Let's just face it. Even Reve Revenge of the Sith was good, but, I mean, it was okay. You know, it was okay. Like, the prequels sucked. Let's just face it. The last really good Star Wars movie we had was Return of the Jedi. And this movie was so entertaining. Seriously, it was. I mean, the theater was jam-packed, and I was worried that the theater... They were going to be annoying. They were constantly going to be shouting and whatnot. But no, there was so much energy. And it was so fun watching this movie because the crowd was just filled with energy while everyone was watching this movie. And the kids were cheering. The parents were cheering. And this movie is so good because it's going to appeal to younger people that haven't watched the original trilogy. And it's going to make, um, it's going to make uh, people who have watched the older movies 
like freaking fangasm when they watch it because this movie has so much nostalgia in it. It's filled with nostalgia. It's filled with so many things from the original trilogy. J.J. Abrams, when you watch this movie, you can just tell that J.J. Abrams, he has complete respect for the original trilogy. You, you, there's like no prequel in this movie at all. It's all It all takes its cues from the original trilogy. There's not a whole lot of CGI. There is CGI for sure, but there's not a lot of it. It's mostly practical effects. And they all look really good. The world building in this, this movie is awesome. The plot is a little flat, I'm gonna be honest. Once I think of once you think about it, it's a little flat. You know, I'm not I'm not afraid to admit that this movie does have flaws. It does have a couple of flaws, for sure, but it is one of the best movies I've seen all year, and it it completely exceeded my expectations. I mean, all of the characters in this movie were so awesome. Even the new cast members were so good. Like, there was never a point where I'm like, you don't belong in Star Wars. They, the new characters felt like they fit in the world, in this old Star Wars world, and everyone had their place in this movie. And all the actors are good. The world building is good. J.J. Abrams, man, you have nailed it this time around. You have really, really nailed it. You have made a great Star Wars film. And I think a lot of people are going to really love this movie. Now, there are a lot of old cast members that are returning this movie. I can't say everybody, but, you know, Han Solo's in this movie, uh, Leia's in this movie, and Mark Hamill's in this movie as well. I can't say anything about Mark Hamill. I'm not going to say anything about Mark Hamill. I'm not even going to talk about him at all. All you know is that Mark Hamill is in the movie. Everyone from the original trilogy, or at least almost everyone, is in this movie and while they have aged, they still feel like the same characters. I mean, Han Solo still feels like Han Solo. You know? Leia still feels like Leia. Everyone did such a great job in this film. And the new cast members are so good, too. The new bad guy of this movie, uh, Kylo Ren, was also really good, too. He was very menacing. And you can tell that he wasn't just a bad guy that goes around doing intimidating stuff. He had an actual backstory. He had a story to his character, and it makes his character kind of relatable. And, you know, this movie, it's funny. It's got a lot of humor in it, which is really funny because a lot of the older Star Wars movies had humor in them, but they didn't work all the time. We all know that J.J. Abrams is a very funny dude. He makes really funny stuff uh, in his movies. So this movie brought an interesting, some hilarious humor to the Star Wars franchise that we've never seen before. And the bad guy, and all the characters are so good, and the bad guy has a backstory that makes him such a relatable character, and not just a guy who goes around killing people and doing this. You know, he literally felt like his own bad guy. I was worried that he was going to feel like a replacement for Darth Vader. He's not. He has a backstory. He has a story to him. And it's good. for what and Everything works really well. I did say the story of the movie is a little flat and because it's but it's not about the story. This movie is about the the characters, the nostalgia and it creates a really good feeling like um that you know, like I said I wasn't alive when the first the original movies came out, but I talked to my mom and dad and they said they loved the movie because it felt like they were actually you know, watching the old movies. And that's what I really like about this movie. I'm, I'm glad that this movie didn't take anything from the prequels. You know, because, again, we all know the prequels sucked. You know? Um, like I said, the story of this movie is flat. And it there is a point where it does kind of slow down a bit. But the movie keeps a very fast pace all the way through. It's got the same cheesy things that we love. And it gets emotional at times as well. Like, there were times where I actually, like, wanted to cry. My mom was crying when she watched it. And overall, this is such a good movie. It really is. I really enjoyed this movie. And I'm going to go see it again. And again. And again. I really did enjoy this movie. And I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10. Because, seriously, it impressed me so much. Now... Um, that's my review. That's my non-spoiler review of Star Wars The Force Awakens. 
If you have not seen this movie and you want to see it, go out and watch it right now. Uh, I apologize for my voice. You know, I'm, my throat has been really sore. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this review, please comment, rate, subscribe. And maybe I will do a spoiler review. Maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. But if you want a spoiler review of the movie, uh, for those of you who have already seen it and you want to hear my opinion on certain things, uh, then let me down, know in the comments below. But that's all I have to say. That's my personal opinion on the movie. I'm going to end the video before my voice goes completely away. So uh, this has been one classic gamer here, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Go and watch it. It's awesome. It's like 20 times better than the prequels. Go and watch this movie. And uh, yeah, I have nothing else to say, so peace.